So far, we've talked about some of the most important sources of security. Religion, military strength, culture. A stable political system, a strong economy, and a sense of family. In some societies, the rights and obligations of the individual were spelled out clearly in official codes of behavior. The Roman Twelve Tables decreed, for instance, that all children were to be educated equally, regardless of sex. The Code of Hammurabi of Babylon was written nearly 4,000 years ago. If a builder has built a house for a man and has not made his work sound, and the house has fallen and caused the death of its owner, that builder shall be put to death. Later came the Ten Commandments of Moses, which form the base of Judaism and later Christianity, and are still followed today. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. About 2,500 years ago, in China, a teacher we call Confucius responded to the corruption and misery of his time with a call for justice and social responsibility. The central concept in his teaching is Jen, which can be translated as human-heartedness or love of humanity. Confucianism is still one of the most important belief systems in China today. At the same time that Confucius was teaching in China, an Indian nobleman was searching for the meaning of human existence. We know him by the name Buddha, which means enlightened one. The answers that he found have influenced the lives of many millions of people in India and China and even in the West. He said that the way to happiness is the eightfold path of righteousness, right intentions, right speech, right actions, and so on. Five hundred years after Confucius and Buddha, Jesus of Nazareth addressed a sermon to his followers. It is called the Sermon on the Mount, and it forms the basis of another of the world's most influential religions, Christianity. In it, Jesus proposed a new law of love. You have learned how it was said, you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say this to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. We've seen how a simple temple designed to propitiate a deity became a complex religious fortress. The need for individuals to defend themselves against attack evolved into professional armies. And the common sense rules that helped people to get along with their friends and neighbors grow into detailed codes of behavior, some of which we still live by today. The urge to create, from the first marks on a piece of pottery, to the beauty of the Greek red figure vases, from the simplicity of the Cycladic figurines to the glories of the Golden Age of Greece played a part in the development of civilization. In the next program, we'll explore some of the results of this basic urge. <laughs>